Are we truly alone in the universe or is there life beyond our planet waiting to be discovered? The search for extraterrestrial life is one of humanity's greatest quests. In today's episode we'll dive into the science, discoveries and mysteries surrounding life beyond Earth. So let's embark on this journey together into the vast unknown. To understand the search for life beyond Earth we first need to grasp the scale of the universe. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to over 100 billion stars, and that's just one galaxy out of the estimated 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. With so many stars, the possibility of other planets with conditions suitable for life becomes more likely. In fact, some scientists estimate that one in five stars could have planets in the habitable zone where liquid water, an essential element for life, could exist. The universe is vast and our search for life is just beginning. Scientists are exploring various places in our solar system for signs of life. Mars has been a major focus for decades. With its ancient riverbeds and signs of past water, Mars could have once supported microbial life. In fact, NASA's Perseverance rover is currently searching for these ancient signs of life on Mars's surface. Beyond Mars, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, Europa and Enceladus, hold even more promise. Beneath their frozen crusts, vast oceans could be hiding microbial life. These moons are some of the most exciting targets in our search for extraterrestrial life. Meanwhile, telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are scanning distant exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, for signs of life. Some of these exoplanets lie in the habitable zone, where conditions might be just right for life to thrive. But the search for extraterrestrial life isn't just about planets and moons, it also involves investigating unidentified aerial phenomena, or UFOs. Over the years, countless reports of strange sightings have sparked questions about whether extraterrestrial civilizations have visited Earth. Perhaps the most famous UFO encounter took place in 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico, where it's claimed a flying saucer crashed. The incident has since become the foundation for many theories about alien visitations. Fast forward to 2020, and the U.S. Department of Defense declassified videos showing UAPs, unexplained aerial phenomena, that defy current aviation technologies. Could these sightings be evidence of extraterrestrial visitors or is there a more earthly explanation? The mystery remains unsolved. Another method scientists use to search for alien life is by listening for signals. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, has been scanning the skies for decades in the hopes of detecting artificial signals from intelligent civilizations. Radio telescopes like the Arecibo Observatory, before its collapse, and the New Square Kilometer Array, are at the forefront of this effort. They listen for unusual signals, hoping to hear something that could point to an alien civilization. In 1977, the WOW signal was detected by SETI. It was a mysterious radio signal coming from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. The signal was never repeated, and its source remains unknown. Could it have been a message from another civilization, or was it a natural phenomenon we don't yet understand? With all these stars and planets potentially harboring life, why haven't we found any signs of intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations? This is the question at the heart of the Fermi paradox. Physicist Enrico Fermi famously asked, where is everybody? If there are billions of planets capable of supporting life, why haven't we detected any signals or found evidence of advanced civilizations? The paradox raises intriguing possibilities. Perhaps intelligent life is incredibly rare. Maybe civilizations like ours are only a fleeting blip in the timeline of the universe. Or perhaps alien civilizations are deliberately avoiding contact with us, either out of caution, or because they've evolved beyond the need for communication. To estimate the chances of finding extraterrestrial civilizations, scientists use the Drake Equation. Developed by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, the equation calculates the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which we might be able to communicate. The equation takes into account factors like the number of stars in our galaxy, the number of stars with planets, and the fraction of planets that could support life. While the equation is based on many assumptions, it provides a framework for understanding the factors that influence the search for extraterrestrial life. 
Even with all the variables, the equation shows that the universe could be teeming with life, though it may take us centuries or more to find it. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most exciting frontiers in science. While we've made great strides in exploring Mars, the icy moons of our solar system, and distant exoplanets, the ultimate question remains, are we alone in the universe? The universe is vast, and the possibilities are endless. Whether we find life tomorrow, in a century or never, the search continues to fuel our curiosity and our desire to understand our place in this grand cosmos. So what do you think? Are we the only ones here? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the mysteries of the universe.